everybody, I'm Tom Benefredo and I'm the music director and conductor of the producers at the Paramount Theater. And I'm currently standing where I actually stand during the show, which is on the podium. Uh, and I'm going to give you a tour of the pit. I'm going to show you how we pack all these players down here in such a small space. So right now we're in one of the far corners of the pit and this is where the beautiful harp player sits. She'd be so mad if she knew I was touching her harp right now. And she's so far to, off to the side that she can't actually even see the conductor's face so she watches me on a TV screen during the show. So immediately to the harp player's right is the drummer. Oh, I'm so bad at drums. Okay, so, um, but in addition to cymbals and snare drum and things like that, he also has a cowbell. He needs to play some temple bells, or temple blocks, excuse me. And then he has like wind chimes, triangle, some temple blocks over here. And then last but not least, the mark tree for magical sounds like that. Okay, so I'm standing in the brass section and it is so rare in theater orchestras to have a brass section this huge. These three chairs are just trombones. And then these three chairs are just trumpets. And then this chair on the end, as you can see, is called French horn. Okay, so now I'm in perhaps the most crowded section of the pit. This is the woodwind section. There's five chairs, and I'm gonna do a speed round. I made a little cheat sheet. So chair number one is flute, piccolo, alto flute, and alto sax. Chair two, right next door, is flute, clarinet, bass clarinet, alto sax. I'm sitting in Reed Three's chair, and Reed Three plays flute, clarinet, E flat clarinet, and tenor sax. To my left is Reed Four, who plays alto flute, oboe, English horn, clarinet, and tenor sax. That is so many instruments. And then over here to my right is Reed Five, and Reed Five plays clarinet, contralto clarinet, baritone sax, and bassoon. All right, so obviously I'm standing by the keyboard player, and then over here it's string bass. And you're probably thinking, how do they play in rhythm section so far from the drummer who's in that back, far back corner where we were before? Well, they have some of them have little TV screens of the conductor, and then everybody wears headphones so they can adjust more drums in their mix. So it can be like they're right next to the drummer, even though the drummer is way over there. All right, this is strings. So we've got violin one, violin two, and cello. All right, we made it to the other side of the pit, and this is where the percussionist sits while he's usually standing, because as you can see, he has a million instruments to play. I'm gonna give you a whirlwind tour really quick. Vibes, chimes. <laughs> okay, believe it or not, typewriter and ratchet. Bachenspiel. God, I hope I'm using the right mallets on these. Jeff would kill me. Little wind chimes. Mark tree. Okay, if you know the show really well, you know that there's a martini shaker moment. Xylophone. What else? Tambourine. Bongos. This might be my favorite when um, Leo Bloom gets slapped around during Guten Tag Hop Clap. Triangle. Wood blocks. Temple blocks. Ooh, that's loud. All right, he's got two timpani and he plays many, many, many different notes on them. I'm not going to touch them because I don't want to get in trouble. And bass drum. These need no introduction. All right, so that's it. That's a tour of all 20 chairs in the orchestra. And of course, it's 21, including the conductor who stands right here on the podium. And what's pretty cool is for the duration of our six-week run of the producers, we have the largest theater orchestra in the Chicagoland area. How lucky are we? So please come and see us, hear the difference in this big, beautiful, full orchestration, and, uh, and come down and wave to me and say hi. Thanks for watching. <laughs>